Starting out in Hanoi, this is the political capital of Vietnam. It's the second most important city behind Saigon, which is really the economic capital. But Hanoi is really quite huge. The population is six million people in the city. And you can toss in another nine million people in the surrounding metropolitan area. It covers an area, oh, about 5,000 square miles altogether. So Hanoi's got quite a history. It was founded a thousand years ago. Many Americans are most familiar with it, of course, because of the war in which it was bombed and it was damaged during the Vietnam War. But you do not see a single trace of that damage today. Everything has been rebuilt, much of it in the old style. In fact, the old quarter of Hanoi is one of the most special places that you will ever see in all of your travels. It's a remarkably well-preserved neighborhood, and it's alive. It's filled with people, locals mostly. There's a few tourists walking around, but it's really an authentic local place. The Old Quarter is a lived-in, used place. It's got a great feeling of vitality. It's really a lot different in that sense than many of the old towns in Europe. It's more like a relic of the past that's more for the tourist, more for the visitor than for the local person. That's not the case here in Hanoi in the Old Quarter. It's very much a place where Vietnamese live, they work, they shop, they eat, and they socialize. The life on the sidewalks is like something you might have never seen in the Western world. Just people everywhere, people sitting down, talking, eating and drinking, especially eating and drinking. You're gonna be tripping over these low tables at the sidewalk restaurants almost no matter which way you turn. And there are a continuous row of shop fronts on every street in the old quarter. You don't find vacant buildings or vacant shop fronts. It seems like the economy here is doing quite well. And of course, that's partly thanks to tourism. There are, after all, tourist shops here in the old quarter. There's tourists walking around ready to spend their money and get some good values. If you're really brave, you can get a good bargain in renting a motorcycle. How much for one day? Five dollars. Five dollars for one day. But again, it's the local life in the streets that makes the old quarter really something special. They call it the 36 streets because initially when it was being settled and expanded, that's all they had. But nowadays there's at least twice that many streets in the old quarter. And yet it's not a huge area. It's about a half square mile or a square kilometer. So it's really easy to walk around and explore it in a couple of hours if that's all you've got. Or better yet, a couple of days because you really could spend two or three days walking through the old quarter in the morning, in the afternoon, and come back again in the evening. And you'd really never see the same thing twice. Even if you're going down the same street, different times of day, different side of the street, it all seems to change shape throughout the course of your visit. So you'll never be bored here. There are sights to see in the outskirts of Hanoi as well. There are temples, museums, there's a university. There is a lot of things going on around Hanoi. One of the great visits outside of the city of Hanoi is to Halong Bay. Now it does take two or three hours to drive out there. So it's not a very good day trip. The general pattern is you drive out to Halong and you get on a ship and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take you out to Halong Bay and take a cruise, spend the night on a deluxe ship, and then we'll spend a little bit more time the next morning cruising, looking at the beautiful islands. It's one of the most outstanding trips in the Hanoi area that you'd be sure to take when you're here.